check, check, one, two, check, one, two, Madam Rouge. It is Wednesday, uh, November 17th, and uh, about a couple days ago, um, a young man got shot and killed by the cops. He, it was a domestic dispute that went on outside of a, a convenience store um, that just, that ended up horrible, terrible. I think it shook the whole city of Las Vegas up, honestly. Um, these renegade fucking renegades killing people like, like, like they can come back from the dead or something. Like, oh, don't worry, he'll be back. No, that's not how it goes. And the fact of the matter is, I don't want to use my tax dollars for them to do an inquest of something that I already fucking know that they're going to cover up. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. They could have used any... I mean, okay, he didn't respond to a taser, and he didn't respond to one of those uh, beanbag, you know, shotguns. Okay, I understand that. What, then next kill him? That's what the next step they took. I would think it, you know, even me being a girl, I would bum-rush that dude before I shot him. Even being a female, I would. I mean, these are some bitch-ass cops in Vegas, and I hope you're a cop watching this because you're a fucking bitch, and I hate you. I hate all your little friends, and I wish you guys would all fucking just go to the Hoover Dam and jump off all at the same fucking time. Anyways, um, <laughs> I was talking to a girlfriend of mine, her name is Jamie, and uh, she was all like, girl, because that's how she'd be, she'd be chocolicious, she'd be like, girl, when I die, I'll be getting game over, tattooed on my eyelids, like what, game? Over. I said, nobody bring me back from the dead, honey. Nobody. You know what? I kind of feel it, you know? I mean, there's a point where you're excited about life, and then there's a point where you have to be excited about life, otherwise, you know, it will, it will turn into the ladder. Hey, let's see if I can catch my cat plane. Oh, no, I think he saw the camera. Let's see. Check out this view. Oh, sorry, never mind. Oh, he was a real beauty. Must have got scared off by the camera. Oh well, there he goes again. Real beauty, look at him. Just hitting that makeup sponge around like he grew up with it in the jungle. What a beauty. All oh, right, see him chasing it around right into the laundry room. Whoa, down the hall. Wow, that cat's got a lot of ammunition. Okay, I'm done. Only for two seconds. So back to the lecture at hand. Get it? The lecture at hand? Because I, I wrote on my hand today. That's what real writers do. When we don't have paper and we exhaust every other opportunity, I guess we write on our hands. I mean, we meaning me and myself. <laughs> um... But I do also have, like, a million other little tiny pieces of paper and shit that I've written on, like, you know, napkins and books and stuff that I probably shouldn't be writing on, but I do because that's what I do. Um, that's why when I have writer's block, it is so intense for me. Oops, girls, girls, you coming out. I have so much fun, and that's all that matters, really. Um, but anyways, I'm, I just... My heart goes out to this guy, I don't know his name, but, and his family, you know, I don't believe that, that, uh, lethal force was necessary, I don't believe that that cop is ever gonna be able to justify killing that man, you know, and, uh, but the good, the good thing about life is he's gonna be the one having to deal with killing an innocent man, and not, you know, me, so, so, I say peace. And I, and I want you to say peace to uh, one of my best buddies here. And uh, enjoy, enjoy Madame Rouge time. It will get better because, you know, I'm actually in the middle of moving and everything is just in, in complete chaos. And that Feng Shui thing is kind of real. Like when everything around you is in chaos, you seem to be kind of chaotic yourself. So we're just, my dad and I, like, packing up shit. I'm going to help him move and is going to get out and start over, and um, that's, that to me is such a blessing, and uh, 
that's, that was just one more thing, you know, I always want to talk about is how, how people, ordinary, you know, bus ride and everyday people think that, that like celebrities or famous people live in a different reality than we do. It's really funny because they don't. And then I realized, you know what, it's, I don't think it, it, it's like the obsession is not what they do. The obsession is what they don't do or what they do when you can't see them when they're in their house, you know, like, my answer to that is, I'm pretty sure they do the same things that we do when they're in their house, only they got money, so imagine that you have lots of money, and then that's what they, you know, you'd be doing, so, and, and, and then secondly, why do you even care, like, what, you're gonna take your time out of your own life to give a shit about fucking who, uh, you know, Johnny Depp or fucking Angelina Jolie, do you think they would ever take time out of their lives to consider you for two seconds? I just want to speak to the people, the real people. And, and, and it's like, you know what, if you're famous, or you're, you're, you're real, you know, famous or talented, prove to me that you're a human being then. Because so far, I haven't seen one. As far as I'm concerned, when celebrities go inside their house, there's somebody in a suit that, like, unscrews in the back of their head and then, like, you know, like, controls their little controls, like, maybe puts in a few computer chips and, like, memory and, like, make it so, like, this button says what you, what to do when paparazzi comes up. And this button says what to do when a fan comes up. And then this button says what to do when mobbed. I mean, seriously, if you're famous or a celebrity... <laughs> Prove to me you're human, really, because I am really starting to get freaked out here. I really feel like, you know, oh my gosh, like, y'all are turning into avatars, for real. Are you real? Are you human? Do you have blood like mine and flesh like mine? I mean, for a second, I, I thought I was, like, being real by trying to, like, tell people that celebrities are real humans, but now I'm questioning it myself. Like, I don't think you're the real humans. I think you're the fake humans. So, uh, anyways, enough of this and enough of that, and, uh, I'll see ya, see ya, see ya when I wanna.